Leadership is about service to humanity. A true leader is always willing to respond to the yearning and aspiration of his people. Governor Babagana Omar Azulum is one of such leaders whose name rings bell across the landscape of Borno and the nation at large. His style of leadership, which centered around proper utilization of human and capital resources to turn around Borno further better through execution of people-oriented projects, have made him household name in the country. One of the approaches Governor Babagana Umar Azulum put in place, which served as a vehicle for the successes recorded in the last three years, is a 25-year development plan and 10-year strategic policy aimed at restoring the state ravaged by activities of Boko Haram insurgents for over 13 years. The policy documents defined the role of every ministries, boards, prosecutors and agencies towards achieving their set objectives to restore the lost glory of the state. The Boro State Ministry for Justice is one key ministry that play a vital role in complementing government's efforts towards actualizing the goals of transforming Borno State as stipulated in the 25-year development plan. My ministry is a service ministry. This ministry is headed by the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice and we have directorates that discharges this responsibility that is mandated on us by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As I earlier said, we have six directorates. We have the Directorate of Public Prosecution, which is in charge of prosecuting all criminal cases, giving advices on criminal cases, and a lot of things. We have the Directorate of Civil Litigations, which are also responsible for dealing with all civil cases. We have Directorate of Admin and Supply, which takes care of the ministry, the supplies of the ministry, the welfare of the ministries, and other administrative responsibilities. We have Directorate of um, Citizens' Rights. They do a lot of things to see that rights of our citizens are being attended um, to. They offer out-of-court advices, like in alternative dispute resolutions, and they welcome complaints from citizens to see how these complaints will be looked into and be resolved. And also we have the legal drafting directorate. These are the directorate that help us in you know, preparing most of these bills that is being sent to the assembly to be passed into law and all that. Yes, and then we have the finance so with these directorates, we work 
in line with the 25-year development plan of His Excellency for this administration. And we try as much as we can to discharge our responsibilities as mandated by the Constitution to see that this administration has gone smoothly and the way it is aimed at in accordance with the rule of law. While Sahawa Abubakar spoke on the, some of the ministry's role and responsibilities, which includes legal drafting for the establishment of new agencies, amendment laws for the existing ones, prosecuting of criminal cases at inferior and superior courts, handling civil matters for or on behalf of government, as well as drafting and vetting of contracts agreements. Others are drafting of executive bills and memos, legal instruments concerning government and also advice ministries, boards and agencies on legal and financial matters. The Ministry of Justice, its role and responsibility being a service ministry as provided under the provision of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under its section 211 and section 195 it has stipulated the role of attorney general of a state and the commissioner for justice of a state by virtue of the provision of these sections this ministry is responsible for the institution of criminal proceedings for or on behalf of the state taking over a criminal proceedings, for instance, from the police, from the civil defense, and so on. And it can also discontinue a criminal proceedings before it attains judgment. For instance, if the case does not stand a substantive ground, we will say it doesn't have a primer, first year for the case, the attorney general can discontinue it. Um, it can also prosecute civil cases just as the criminal cases and apart from this the ministry gives advices legal advices to the government through its ministries we have the directorate of citizens right the ministry for justice is for the citizens of the state whereby the citizens of the states can come wherever their rights are being infringed or if they have any complaints and say as citizens they can come to the ministry and they will be taken care of these are some of the few um, responsibilities there are so much to mention but these are the key responsibilities of the ministry yes the overseer attorney general and commissioner for justice however said government under the stewardship of professor babagana umarazulu is leaving no stone unturned in ensuring that the ministry has carried out its duties in accordance with the policy direction of his administration. The commissioner added, within the last three years, the ministry has carried out massive constructions and renovations of courts in the state, notable are the conflict renovation of state high courts complex at Milikshof, renovation of upper Sharia courts at post office, sanitation courts Ulari, as well as constructions of the painting chamber for Chief Judge of the State. I have been the Special Advisor on Legal Matters to His Excellency, the Borno State Governor, Professor Wabagana Omar Aslum. And I was appointed as an overseeing Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice on the 11th of August this year. So I met a lot of ongoing projects and those that has been completed. For instance, now we have uh, completed about the renovation of about eight courts in the milk shop com com complex. Renovation is still ongoing in court 10, court 12 at the milk shop complex and the renovation of Upper Sharia Court at the Post Office Complex is also ongoing. Um, there had been a completed 
befitting chamber for the honorable the chief judge of the state um, there had been a completed court for salutation these are a, a few to mention um, among the projects new fence that is going on along the milk shop complex you could clearly see that the, the, the road there is being expanded now and most of all this small small expansion by the stalls on the road has been demolished and this, this is also a project that is being carried out by the ministry. The, the ministry had played a key role in getting a lot of appointments in the judicial system to have a smooth dispensation of justice um, you know the the, the, the the projects are just too many because I see this as a project as well we've always also been um, doing all the cases that is brought to this ministry both national and locally national that the ones that are on appeal the ones in Supreme Court we all get them attended to and a whole lot of projects are still going on. In complementing efforts of Dulum's led administration to a total restoration of civil authorities at elaborated local government areas in the state, the ministry embarked on constructions of magistrates and Sharia courts destroyed by the insurgents to ensure simultaneous takeoff of the civil authorities to get out a smooth administration of justice at local government level. You know, the aim of this administration is to see that Borno State has gone back to its normal state. We all know how we found ourselves in the last few years because of the insurgency that came and destroyed a lot of things for infrastructure, services and all that. And the uh, leadership of this government is trying its best to see that all those that all that has been destroyed is being revived and so also applies to the magistrates in local governments and other high courts like for instance the high court in Biu now is fully functional it's fully functional and a lot of local governments are following suits both in magistrate courts and high courts yes the governor Zulum's determination to reposition the state and revitalize our economy is a clear evidence of good governance and desire to restore the hope of the downtrodden. Minister Hawa Abu Bakr said, one of the qualities of good leader is to match his words with the actions. She emphasized that Governor Babagana Umar Azulum has such qualities and people of the state attested to that in the three and a half years of his leadership which she said deserve a second term. We all know that this leadership is so determined to see that this state has come out better and stronger than it used to be. Yes, and um, the purpose of every government is, to, is the security of lives and properties as well as the welfare of its citizens. And this has been the drive of this administration. And that's why we'll see our able governor always uh, being proactively involved in the affairs of its citizens. You'll see him from one village to another, from one town to another, interacting one-on-one -on -one on with citizens to see how best he could prove his good governance to them. So, and with the 25th year development plan that the Borno State Government has, with a targeted vision of ensuring achievement within the 10 years, the Borno State Government is going through a lot of collaborations both at federal with security agencies, the military and other security operatives, and all stakeholders to see that they have worked together in accordance with rule of law to see that he has achieved 
his gold in this administration. So I think his leadership is an exceptional one. One good turn deserves another. That says a lot. We're already saying we're already seeing the good thing that is happening. So we deserve its continuation. And how do we get the continuation? By exercising our right to franchise. And the right lies in our what? P VCs. So I will appeal for the citizens of this state to give a chance for this good to be continued. We know how this state was in the last few years. A lot of people were leaving this state because of the insecurity. Schools were shut down, market places were destroyed, infrastructures were destroyed, roads were blocked, there was no ease of transportation, and look at where we are today. A lot of people are even surprised at the rate, the rate at which the state got revived. We have a lot of infrastructures, we don't see any more burnt places, we have our roads like ease of transportation, we even have additional roads to ease our movements in the state. So I mean, this says a lot and this says how committed this government is to its people. And what do we want? What do we want as citizens from a government is security, our welfare, which has all been taken care of. So I will appeal to the citizens of this state that this is the only state we have. This is our home state. We don't have any other place, whether nationally or in diaspora. This is our road. We are still coming back to this place. So please, let's use our franchise right to get the continuation of this good governance. Yeah. On women participation in the politics, the Overseer Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice, Barista Abubakar said, there's no limit to what women can achieve in life, hence for the society to support them. She emphasized that women are the worst hit victims of the over-educated law insurgency in the state. With the coming of Professor Wagana Umar Zulum as governor, the situation of Bondo totally changed for better. In view of the above, women who constituted larger percentage of the entire population need to come out and support the continuity of his government whose care for the welfare of its people, particularly women and youth. Women, I don't want to be too biased, but a woman in any role, be it in her home, be it in an office, she puts all commitment. And we like perfection. So, uh, uh, women that are in positions both within Borno and nationally are uh, performing exceptionally because of the determination and because of the commitment and because you know we are trying to push boundaries to see that we do things that people think we can't do as women. When we say yes, the yes is yes. So please my fellow women, let's say yes to the continuation of this good governance. Because at the end of the day, during this insurgency, who suffers? Our women and children. We are at the receiving end. Most of us are widows now. Most of us have a lot of children as orphans. We are struggling to make life meet. So at the end of the day, we are at the receiving end of whatever in, uh, uh, ills that happens in, in the government. So please, women, let's come out in mass to use our right of franchise so that we will continue having the good. You know, I will keep emphasizing on the quote you made because it really sounds so good to my ears. One good turn deserves another. So let's let's women understand that this good can only be continued when we use our right of franchise by casting our votes to get back the good governance in place again. The governor, 
engineer pro Peace Babagana Omar Azulum is passionate about taking Borno to a greater high. Borno is our home. Let's make it great together. Kwa mwe nambere na zilumbe igazamaba 